Hi guys, yet another mod ramble, but this time it's to discuss the ENB I am using. That's right, I am currently running an ENB on my Skyrim Special Edition, and as you can see, it's not making the game look very different. It's not trying to make the game look warmer or colder. It's not adding a sort of dream state. It's not trying to change the look and feel of the game, just make the lighting look better. And I've really more or less focused on shadows, shading, lights, etc. For example, the sky is now giving off light. And to, to give you an idea of the difference, I will turn the E and B off now. Can you see how the shading on the trees, the grass, and even this um, rock ahead change quite dramatically when I put the E and B on? So that's the sort of thing I'm going for, to give it a more believable feel, to give items more depth, actually. And um, it's, it's actually working quite well. I'm still tweaking it. I'm still playing with it. The outside area, though, I'm more or less happy. I've had to be a little careful with the shadows because, of course, I am using mods that make stealth a lot more difficult and do tend to judge how easy you are to see by how much light is on you. So if you see a deep area of shadow and you go and stand in it, you may be a lot more visible than you actually realize. So I've obviously tried to really make it so when I'm outside, even if I see a shaded area like this, it's pretty obvious to me that I'm not going to be able to hide, that I will get seen. Uh, but Overall, I think I've managed it. We will see if I start failing stealth even more than normal. Although, with the mods I'm using, stealth during the day is a bit of a hit and miss affair anyway. They can usually, it's all about line of sight at that point. So, again, just to give you an idea, I will turn the ENB off. Especially at the distant, with the distant trees. You can see the shading is it's just a lot nicer and a lot more believable. There are a few other tweaks as well, but I'm not going to go into details. One great thing about the preset I am using is it is completely compatible with night vision and predator vision. There, there are ways to get most ENBs now working with night vision. However... Predator vision is still a problem, and even the night vision fix can be problematic. So being able to just use it out of the box is a big advantage. This also means it's probably going to be pretty much workable with any weather mod if I, if I decide to change weather mods, which I'm not at the moment. Mr. having a good time at the moment. He enjoys traveling with us very much. Mr. Dragonfly seems to enjoy sightseeing, doesn't he? So, yeah, so it will, it will absolutely work with my current mods without any work whatsoever. I actually did a live stream for about five or six hours where I was trying lots of different presets and people were helping me out with things like uh, particle patches that are supposed to fix the phone looking a little off color, although I'm not totally sure it's worked. Um, and I did try some amazing presets, including one called Rudy, which was absolutely phenomenal. But although I loved it personally, it just doesn't fit my vision for Skyrim, especially with the Leonard playthrough. It, it, there, were, there were too many moments where it just looked way too warm for a Nordic country, and it was a little hazy. Although I, I have to admit, the hazy effect... it. It kind of worked at times, as did the God Rays. It was pretty amazing. But it wouldn't have worked with Predator Vision, and I could have got it to work with Night Vision, but it would have been, you know, some messing around. So in the end, I decided, you know what? I'm going to go with a lot more lightweight ENB, and maybe I can start tweaking this at some later date, possibly between chapters, and add some more... I don't know, interesting effects, but only only between chapters, I think. I don't I don't want to change the overall look and feel too much in the middle of a chapter. Let's just have a look how this would have looked without the ENB. So that's without the ENB. 
that's with it. As you can see, it just it looks a lot nicer without it being absolutely obvious that anything has changed. So, you know, the, the, the chapter will continue and you won't really, really feel it, but it'll just look a little nicer, which was... Okay, that was a bit... Of, yeah. There are still some issues like that, but I don't actually think that's the ENB. I think that is just Skyrim being Skyrim. I may, of course, be wrong. Um, again, if you look underneath the uh, underneath the platform, like, Inigo, could you possibly? You, you, it's a bit of bit of a bit of a camera. Um, I was going to use a rude word. Um, he likes the camera, is what I was going to say. If I turn the ENB off, you, you can see how. It, the diffuse light is just, it makes it look very even underneath, right in front of the door, whereas, you know, it looks, I just think it looks a little better like this. Inside, you get a better idea of how it looks with the more complicated shadows and the the extra lights. Now, the, the, the extra lights were a bit of an issue for me, um, and that's the, they're called particle lights, and it's things like the, ca the candles actually giving off light. Let me turn the ENB off. Can you see how the candles don't really project any real light? And a lot of that comes down to weaknesses with Skyrim, not being able to do multiple light sources. ENB can do it, and it does look phenomenal. This Thank was a bit much. of a worry of mine because, right. of course, it it does mean I'm not 100% sure what... Uh, God, your hair looks weird with that light on it. Um, I'm not exact. I'm not going to be absolutely sure whether or not the light in-game matches the light I'm seeing, which is important for a stealth playthrough with the mods I'm using. However, I did... I wandered around and I checked, and I noticed that even though places where like there's a candle and it's not giving off a real light with shadows they've added ambient light so the game generally speaking is going to probably know when i'm stood in a, a lit area just as well as as i do when looking at it that's really really badly explained it's um it's just a simple fact of oh yeah i did notice that this quartz does change a little bit it's a simple fact of the lighting from the ENB not being something the game engine is aware of. And this can be problematic because you need to know where the dark spots are when hiding with the mods I'm using. You absolutely need to. And what I'm saying is, although I was a bit worried about the particle lights, adding lights that the game was unaware of, it seems to do it in places that make perfect sense and already have ambient light, which is that sort of very, I'm not going to say ugly, but generic light that's everywhere. So I think it won't be a problem. And uh, I must admit, I really do like the uh, the particle lights. It makes everything look so much more interesting. It's just little things like the candle in front of the iron helmet. If I If I turn the EMB off, it's like there's no light from the candle. Whereas now there is, and it just, it, it also actually makes the scene a lot brighter. One thing I've been trying to make sure of is that visibility is not reduced. So if I turn the ENB off now, as you can see, it's not really that much different. The ambient occlusion, if you look at the barrels, you'll see it's darker towards the bottom. That's with it off. And now the EMB on. Around the base of the barrels, it's a little darker, but the overall scene is not actually darker. You should be able to see. And the extra particle lights actually add a bit more contrast, which I think should make the, the viewing experience for you guys a little better. And uh, I'll just show you again. EMB off. More, Can you see how weird way. it of looks course, around the steps? I was just... And there you go, on. So as you can see, it's just an overall improvement without really changing the way the game feels or without making it much lighter or darker. It, it's keeping the feeling consistent. That's what I'm going for. 
In dungeons where there are lights, I think the visibility is about the same. A little different, but overall the same. This, this is the ENB on. If I turn it off, you'll actually see at the stairs on, off. The walls at the side with the ENB on get some deeper shadows, but the, the shelf with the lantern on it actually gets lit up. So it's sort of a bit of a trade-off, but I don't think it's much of a change. For insanely dark areas where there is almost no visibility, it doesn't change much. This is with the EMB, this is without. As you can see, the only real difference is the area with the candles is actually better lit with the ENB. If you wander around here and do the same thing, I'm gonna turn the EMB off. It, it really makes no difference except the lights probably give, well, actually a little more visibility. Um, obviously it works just fine with a torch. And as I've said, the night vision seems to work just fine. If I look up so that we don't get any blindness from the, um, from the from the candles here as you can see the, the the night vision does actually work that is with the emb on i'll turn the emb off and there's almost no difference so you know it's 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 going to work pretty much the same except i actually feel occasionally there will be moments where the the particle lights give off slightly better visibility which is good Nighttime visibility seems more or less the same. It's um, it's pretty much the same as it was. So here's solitude at night. That's with the EMB off, EMB on. It really just seems to emphasize the shadows, which of course then emphasizes the lights. Uh, the night vision works just fine. And in fact, actually, let's see, EMB off. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it really is not much of a change all round. If it's a clear night, the visibility is going to be the same. And that is pretty much what I was going for. I wanted everything to just look better, maybe more realistic, maybe have a little more pop. You know, and you do get that from slightly deeper shadows, a little more sinister darkness and maybe also a little brighter light and i think i've managed to achieve that but this is of course a work in progress i will be tweaking it as i go along to try and uh, make it a a good viewing experience as well as an atmospheric uh experience because that's that's the real challenge visibility versus atmosphere especially when you're playing a character that is prone to going out at night or prone to crawling around dungeons. And that, that latter one is obviously pretty much every character in Skyrim. You know, well, actually, not in vanilla Skyrim, because let's face it, vanilla Skyrim dungeons, they're all pretty much brightly lit and about as scary as going to the kitchen. I suppose if you've got a very scary kitchen, you not clean the fridge out for a few months, perhaps it is a terrifying experience. I actually quite like the look of this. Yes, I do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check without the EMB. Yeah. It's less bland. <laughs> it is, it is. So that's it. This will not take, uh, this will not go into the Let's Play until episode 16, basically because I have finished recording up to episode 15. So this will be the earliest you will see uh, the improvement, but it is going to happen, and uh, hopefully, you will uh, you will not hate it completely.